Hey, Hickok45 here. You can see what I've got. One of my favorite lever guns. Actually, it's an AK-74, for those who were fooled. And it fires the 545 by 39 cartridge. You've seen it in action, I hope. We're going to do a little chapter two with it. It shoots that little 60 grain bullet. This is Tula ammo that we're shooting mostly. And uh, it, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little gun. It has a nice trigger. I don't know if I'll be able to hit anything over there. And if I do, whether I'll knock those heavy one inch uh, thick pieces of steel over. But we're, we're going to try. Kind of a scary gun to have in my hands today. I'll tell you, I read uh, Soft Target by Stephen Hunter this week. And uh, if you've read that, you know, <laughs> the AK-74 uh, was prominently displayed there. Uh, not in a good place. Anyway, let's take a few shots. Let's get some ears on because these are loud. They're little, light, very fast bullets. See if we can hit anything. Get the sun out of my eyes over there. All right. We better try the little gong first. Make sure I can put them on the hillside. All right. Well, you know, we always start on the left side. Let's start on the right. Might be bad luck. Wow. All right. Knocked him over. Sure, I can see that one very clearly. I'm gonna try him again. I think that rascal has fallen over. Let me try the next one. Okay, let me uh, move up a little bit. The tall one I'm going to try to knock over, get my bearings here. And the one next to it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back over on the left side. I'm not getting a good look at those. I should have painted them better. Click. Okay. Notice my uh, super duper mag pouch is here. Let's see, which pouch did I get that one out of? I think that was an extra one. We'll pull out of this pouch and try some more here. Okay what I'm looking at over there. This, tr this gun has a really nice trigger. From the shooting I did in uh, the first video we did with it, the sights seem to be on. When you get these uh, smaller targets, that really tells you uh, whether they're on or not. Okay, so we'll hit what we can. Whew. Sometimes it just helps to take a break, doesn't it? <laughs> or maybe I'm just holding differently. Got a light trigger. That last one I wasn't really ready to fire. <sighs> All right, try again.
feel like I'm shooting blanks. I think I'm actually getting some hits on some of these. It's just uh, not falling. But then again, some of them are in the dirt, right? see where I'm hitting. Let me take a rest, load him up again consult one of my mag pouches and uh, see what I can do here. Let me put him back in the pouch. Okay. So I'm going to I think I'm shooting over it quite a bit there. Uh. Now I don't know about an AK. I know back when I was shooting metallic silhouettes sometimes if you're uh, uh, shooting a hot little cartridge after the barrel heats up it would tend to shoot a little bit higher I don't know if that's it or if I need to come up with a more creative excuse all right doesn't explain the first few misses does it I cannot even see. Okay, we'll try a couple more shots on them. Okay. <laughs> They're camouflage from back here. Ah, I think I got him. <laughs> All right. So, we have a two liter over there, though. Oh, my woes are not over. That needs more targets. <laughs> All right. Woo! Oh, interesting little cartridge. How many rounds I have left there? Let's uh, let's put a new mag in just for kicks. Let's see. That one's empty. This is a borrowed gun to be gentle with all the parts. After all, it is an AK. You know how fragile they are. <laughs> Not hardly, huh? Okay, let's pick off. Oh, I know one target I have too. I don't want to forget the bowling pin there. Let's get this guy right here. And then let's play with these guys a little bit. I got it on full auto. Uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, don't tell me we have a malfunction with an AK. It just doesn't happen. Maybe a bad round. I see him right there. I'll get him later. Okay. battery. Well that's that uh, that Russian stuff. We had a little bit of that in one of the magazines. Let's try it. Uh, we'll look well let's get that and see if we can tell about it. It's got a light primer hit. I'll save that. Okay. 
Probably that bowling pin there. Got him in the right spot. Yeah, I had it on full auto there. It's got a three round burst uh, position there. Actually, it doesn't. But I know you guys want to see me do a little bump firing. Okay, so I've got some more of this uh, Tula ammo. We weren't having any trouble with it, so let's shoot a little more of it. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> oh, shot him right off the stand. <laughs> let's try a little of uh, the bump firing again here, just to. Uh, Okay, you folks that wanted to see me bump fire for three years, you've been asking me to do that. Uh, that was a little bit of bump firing there, okay? I'll let that one out. Safety was on, so you can't get the round out very well. Okay. So anyway, uh, the Tula ammo did just fine, if that tells you anything. Many of you know more about the uh, AK-74 than I do and the ammo, because I've not really experimented with it that much. But uh, now early on, that... Uh, that ammo was doing okay. Then uh, the first video we shot some of that, but uh, today it uh, didn't didn't act right there. I don't know. Maybe it was something to do with the, the bump firing. Uh, it's not uh, bump fire tested, perhaps. Okay, it's just fully automatic tested. The Russian stuff, <laughs> wherever that was made. But anyway, uh, the AK-74 uh, shoots that cartridge is not too distant from the 556. Uh, you know that our military uses. Uh, other than I have uh, read, I guess since the first video, a little bit more about that cartridge. It uh, is it's very wicked. I mean, the ballistics on it are not necessarily that wicked uh, any more than the 5.56 five, that, that we use in this country. But the construction of the, the military rounds, at least, uh, and I forget what all, I've, I mean, I've gotten three, four different stories on it, but they construct those bullets uh, for maximum damage. There's just like some hollow space in there. And you got kind of a crush cavity inside in the jacket and lead that moves. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very, very nasty, uh, creates a very nasty wound. Uh, so while it might not do as much on steel, you know, as even our 556, five, uh, particularly our heavier bullets, it's a very nasty round, very nasty round. So, but the AK-74, uh, this one right here is, is pretty nice. Uh, that Tapco trigger, as I said before, is very sweet. Gun seems tight. A uh, couple issues with the, that other ammo there. Uh, now, yeah, I'm not sure where that ammo is made. I'll put it in the description. It's actually the military ammo is in one of the, the cans. You had to open the can opener. But uh, like I said, it worked fine before. So AK-74, we appreciate uh, the viewer lending this to us and putting it through its paces and just playing with it some. I struggled a little bit on my shooting over there. Uh, Invisibility wasn't great, and uh, I can't blame it on the trigger. I think I was just holding a little too high on a lot of those shots and not really seeing my target. And you know me, I'm going to stick with iron sights regardless, right? So, oh, any day you get to shoot such a fine gun, you know that life is good.